Hi everyone, welcome back to Denim Vixen. It's Kathy. The time has finally come that I need to have my passport renewed. I um, am going back to work as a flight attendant and obviously as one of the job requirements, we need to have a valid passport. So, <laughs> I haven't had a passport in six years. Can you believe that? No one can believe that. But I've been very, very happy to stay put right here in the good old US of A. But since I'm going back to work in December, I need to go get that renewed. So I'm off to get my passport picture taken. I decided to kind of go for a little more than just a daily casual makeup wear because when you get your passport, the lighting is so horrible and those, um, when you're getting the pictures done that I needed something to just kind of brighten up my face just a little bit because that picture stays with you for 10 years and I want to look decent. I'm not saying I have to look like a supermodel, but I just don't want to look washed out and like I'm, you know, near death. So get ready with me. I'm getting ready to go get the passport done. I'm probably just going to go up to the UPS store or CVS or someplace, but I've got to hurry up and do it because the kids will be home in, oh gosh, about an hour so I've got to run and get this done and get back home and get their snacks ready so come with me okay the first thing I'm gonna do is use my pure minerals four-in-one makeup I use the medium dark as you can see I put pan on it and then I'm gonna use this is the brush that came with it I used to not use this brush but then I realized it's a pretty good brush I think it's like I decided it would be easier to change the format here and not try to talk while I'm doing my makeup. So I'm doing voiceover now. So here I am just working on my foundation. I'm going to pull it down to my neck and just kind of blend it in. I'm using all different kinds of brushes. I can't remember which brushes are which, but I do use a combination of Real Techniques, Coastal Scents, and some e.l.f. Studio brushes and a couple of other ones. So if I remember which ones they are, I'll point them out. If not, then just follow along. So here's my Lancome eyeshadow base. It's always good to give your eyeshadow a little bit of a base before you apply the shadow. And here's my favorite eyeshadow right now, my Physician's Formula Canyon Classics. And now to frame my face, I'm gonna fill in my eyebrows with my very classic Maybelline eye pencil. And I'm going by brushing them just to smooth them out a little bit. Now we're gonna just clean those brows up a little bit with the highlighter from the Canyon Classics. Now let's smudge a little bit of the darkest color underneath the eye, just to give a little bit of definition and shape. And for the fallout, we're just gonna dab the excess there with a makeup wipe. Now we're on to eyeliner. I've got my favorite e.l.f. liquid liner. We're doing a little bit of a cat eye. Not too much, just a little hint of a uh, upturned eye there.
And now a little concealer to cover up any imperfections. I'm gonna blend it in with a foundation brush. Actually kind of helps to clean up any extra fallout that you don't get off with the uh, makeup wipe. And now I'm going to just set that concealer with my e.l.f. High Definition Setting Powder made for under eyes. Now we're just going to go over the whole face with the High Definition Setting Powder for the whole face from e.l.f. Next I'm going to do a little bit of contouring. We're going to contour my cheeks just a little bit with this CoverGirl um, concealer in a really dark color. I'll put that color down below. I think I'll contour my nose just a little bit just to kind of um, slim it down a tad so we'll put a little bit of contour along the sides there follow along and oh, let's contour the jawline just a tad too Now for a little blush, I'm using my NYX Stick Blush and Hibiscus. I'm going to put just a little bit on my cheeks and then go back with my e.l.f. Studio Stipple Brush and just stipple it in. I think this kind of gives you a little bit of a glow and kind of helps when you have a powdery foundation to kind of just, you know, give it a little bit of a glow. Now we're going to curl the lashes just a tad and apply my favorite mascara. Now moving on to lips, I'm going to line my lips with a very neutral color. It's the Wet n Wild Brandywine, my favorite, favorite lip liner of all time. It costs 99 cents pretty much anywhere. And Heather Dubrow from Real Housewives of Orange County says she can use it, multi-billionaire. So can I. Love this stuff. I'm filling in my lined lips with my Hikari Cabernet lipstick. This is the lipstick that came in my Ipsy Glam bag last month and I probably wouldn't normally wear a dark color but I thought it would really brighten up my lips and help me look less washed out in front of that drab white background. And I decided I needed a little more of a pick-me-up so I'm bronzing just a tad with my Milani bronzer. Okay, just a few final touch-ups here, and that's the best I could do. Okay, now I've got my hair on hot rollers. What do you think? Nice look, hot, hot look. Don't normally hot roll my hair, but today I thought I would because I kind of wanted just to give my hair a little bit of oomph, a little bit of body, and we'll see how it turns out. I didn't really put any product in it other than what was left over from yesterday because I wash my hair every other day, so there might be some residual, but um, I really just want to give it a little bit of volume, and that's pretty much it. Now let's go find something to wear. Okay, so here it is. My passport photos just got them done at the UPS store probably the safest bet for me to get them I could do my own but they're so strict about the size and the background that I just don't want to turn my passport in and um, with all the paperwork or I should say turn in my my pictures with all the paperwork and I'm turning in and say oh well, your picture's not right now there's a new rule where you're not allowed to show your teeth when you're smiling which that kind of blows because I've always had big smiles on all my passport pictures but um, yes, yeah, so I just went to the UPS store, um, which is better than going to like CVS or Walgreens because CVS and Walgreens both have cosmetic sections and you know I would have been way distracted and I have got to get home because I have um, 
a lot of eBay shipments to get out. I had a really, really busy day, so I need to get home and get that done. And the kids will be home from school soon, and I'm so hungry. I've gotta run through a drive-thru or something to grab a bite to eat. Here are the pictures. Not too bad. I won't get too close. I hope you enjoy getting ready with me for my passport pictures, and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.